Hey you guys, it's me, Allison, of The Daily Allison. I had a video chat earlier with adult film star Courtney Combs. It was an ordeal to get it set up, but we made it happen. Take a look. Hi, Courtney. Hi, honey. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm fabulous. I was out by the pool. Ah, uh, yeah, I was going to ask. I was going to ask um, what you've been doing all weekend. Well, uh, today, just hanging out by the pool, I'm going to go to an Angels game this afternoon. Uh, I'm trying to figure out if I'm a Yankees fan, and not Yankees, <laughs> I'm a Dodgers fan or a, a Angels fan. Which side are you sitting on? <laughs> well, Angels today, but last week I attended a Dodgers game, so I have to figure out which one is best for me, which fan crowd I like the best now. Yeah, I wish that I could be like, well, Dodgers fans are like this, and Angels fans are like this, but I don't know anything about sports. Do you? Are you a sports what? fan? Are you a sports fan? Sports. Yeah, I love football and basketball. Okay, what do you like about it? I like, they're so aggressive. I love it. And they're running up and down the courts or the field and they're sweating and their buns are just so rock hard. Yeah, it's great eye candy. Yeah, maybe I should <laughs> go for the buns. I usually go and I'm like, I don't understand how this, I don't get this, this, is, this game is way too long, I'm bored, and I know that as a human, like, an American and a human being, I'm supposed to enjoy this, but I can't get into it. I'm more like, I enjoy watching figure skating, and I like watching tennis, and that kind of stuff. I like watching horseback well, riding. Like, yeah. I, you know, I had my first orgasm when I was riding a horse. I did not know that. <laughs> and I don't know whether You're I should... Like, I don't yeah. know whether I should even ask you more. Okay, say a little bit more about that. But keep in mind, this is sort of a family show, sort of. Okay, I'll refrain from overacting. <laughs> yeah, I don't... Okay, okay, I'll ask this. What was the horse's name? I don't even remember. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's like you just used the horse. Okay, well, there is something that I did want to ask you, which I didn't get to last time, which is all these... This is sort of more of a serious question, but all these stories have come out about how the recession is affecting the porn industry. Have oh, you yeah. noticed a difference? It was, I mean, I would say since June it started to affect us big time because a lot of um, our distributors have gone out of business and then the whole free porn sites and everything, which is fucking bullshit. Oh, excuse me. But that's it was okay. really bad. And, um, yeah, it's just taken away from our money. And you have to remember, all that free stuff is nice, but we're never going to be able to make new stuff because it's all free, so we can't make the money off of it. Right. But it has to right. definitely in the recession now. It just hit us. Most people were hit like a year ago, you know? Um, do you think it'll turn around? I think it's turning around. Uh, it's just we have to shut down those porn sites. That's the main thing. Okay. And they're located, like, overseas, you know, and you can't really sue them for trademarks and stuff when they're overseas. Um, all right. Well, so I asked people on Twitter if they have questions for you, and um, they sent in a bunch. So let me see. Okay. Jacob Jackson asks, if you were stranded on an island, what kind of ice cream would you bring? <laughs> popsicles. <laughs> what kind of popsicles? I like um I like the lemonade popsicles or the chocolate ones are really yummy. Uh, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? Chocolate. Okay. I love chocolate. Mhm. Mm See, mine is actually vanilla, and I was explaining this to someone recently. Even though vanilla? I like vanilla, it doesn't mean that I'm a boring person. <laughs> <laughs> And I don't like spicy food either, but I swear to God, I'm super fun. Okay. I love spicy food. It builds your immune system. Yeah. Of course you like you spicy food. You like that so much. <laughs> <laughs> no, not too much. Um, I just, I don't like eating something and then not being able to taste anything because, like, my whole mouth is on fire and stuff. You can um, still taste. There are different types of temperatures. Yeah, I, I don't like the painful types. Okay. Um, here's one, also from Jacob Jackson. He's he's in the lead right now. How do you define a good person, and how do you define a bad person? Um, a good person would be loyal, honest, um, just very positive all around. Like I I don't like it when people have negative things to say all the time. Like, yeah, my hair is in the scrunchie, and I don't care, you know? Not like, oh, my God, our hair is in the scrunchie, you know? I, right. I don't want to be around people that always have negative things to say. Um, 
you know, treat everyone how you want to be treated. That's basically how I live my life. <laughs> and then the people that I don't like would be like liars, thieves, right, murderers. You, you, you don't think murderers are good people? <laughs> yeah, some of them could be if it's self-defense, but not, not no. the ones that are on no. my like, killing spree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, okay. Steve Carney asks, what types of films make you just shake your head and say, now that's just messed up? <sighs> Rakeem for a Dream. Have you seen that one? Oh, God, yeah, that was very... <laughs> Disturbing. I would never put my mother to be in that situation. <laughs> I think he might be asking, is there any genre of uh, porn where you're just like, that's too much? Oh, porn. Um, I like Gonzo. You, Gonzo you like Gonzo? Gonzo, I love it. And Gonzo is, that's like homemade, right? Uh, Gonzo is more like hardcore, like straight to the point. There's not really a lot of storylines. Uh, okay. Because I will get bored, yeah. Like, just, you know, throwing my hair around and just, uh, I don't like it. I'm like, okay, I'm bored already. Right. You don't, you don't like the porn where it's like, who's that at the door? I don't know. I didn't yeah. order anything. Yeah, that one. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like, it's kind of boring. Right. Um, oh, all right. V. Ron's fan 2005 says, today is my birthday. Could you make my birthday wish and say hi to me? So, I'm going to hi, Viron's fan, 2005. Now you do it. Hi, baby. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, baby. Sticky Note says, have you had success dating men outside of the industry? I have, but, you know, maybe I like the idea of a relationship opposed to being in a relationship. You know, and... I mean, now I just enjoy being single because I have all these hot guys on Twitter that make me laugh and smile, and why not talk to them than be with a guy that you're going to be miserable with and he's always talking shit to you about your job. Yeah. So I, you know, and I have a great roommate, so I get, like, the, the male attention, but not, like, the sex from him, obviously, I don't have sex with my roommate, but I get the sex from work, and so it's just, like, I have to take a little here, a little bit there, and I is, my life. Is your roommate okay with the fact that you guys aren't having sex? I hook him up with stuff. Oh. I hook him, I'm like, yeah, I hook him up with, like, BJs or POV, um, foot jobs and things like that. So he definitely gets a lot of play. Wow. <laughs> so you're, like, the best roommate ever, apparently. Yes, I am. And then, also, any pursuits planned post-film career? Yeah, like, what do you want to do after you stop, if you ever stop doing um, adult films? Well, I went to school for fashion design and marketing, but the thing that I'm really into right now is I'm building my sites where I bring a lot of different girls into my website, RenieComps.com, and I, um, it's like different fetishes. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm rebuilding my whole network. What's the most and popular... Oh, go ahead. It's okay. What's the just most popular... My whole I was just asking, what, like, what's the most popular fetish? Oh, my word. Feet. <laughs> All the foot fetishists who watch this show are going to be so excited by that flash of the left foot. Do you have a favorite foot of your left and right? Uh, I prefer my right. And right-handed. My little pedicure. <laughs> wow. Um, I feel like my traffic is going to just go through the roof because of that. All right, well, I feel like we're probably out of time, but thank you so much. I have one question. Oh, yes. So I watched the other interview, and you're like, there's a backstory to this. Oh, yeah, the backstory. Oh, yeah, no, I'll tell you the backstory. The backstory is that um, my dad <laughs> was like, because like, my dad was like, you, and I don't, I want to believe that he is not familiar with your work. I don't think he is. But I, when I, when you contacted me on Twitter, it was like the same day that I found out that my friend's daughter is a big fan of my show. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I have a porn star and a 12 year old, both of them like my show. And then my dad was saying that, he's like, you should have her be a guest on your show. And I'm like, I know, I was thinking the same thing. And so then he's been like, like he's the one who um, sent me that article about how the recession is affecting porn. Yeah, and like, yeah, you know. yeah. So anyway, the backstory is just that my dad is like, was like, you have to get her as a guest on your show. And I'm like, <laughs> I want to think that's for journalistic reasons, dad. <laughs> Well, you're going to have to email me Papa's address, and I'll send him an 8x10. Okay. 
Make sure you have clothes in it. <laughs> Wear clothes yeah, in that one. <laughs> All right, well, have a good time at the game. Thank you. Go Angels for today. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Bye, baby. Bye. Thank you. Okay, now I feel guilty for, like, getting in the way of my dad's fun. Please no one comment on that. Okay, love you guys. See you later. Bye.